Elcor di Scottsdale, negara bagian Arizona adalah organisasi yang menggalakkan cryonics atau teknologi kryonika, membekukan orang dengan penyakit yang tak bisa disembuhkan sepeninggal mereka dengan nitrogen cair. This is Elcor's patient care bay. This is where we have all our patients stored, currently 199 humans uh, plus almost 100 pets. Uh, this whole area is secure. People can come in here for tours and they can see we have a lot of classes and other people coming in, but they can't access the building. Uh, I can access the space and the walls are all reinforced here. Bagi penggiat kryonika, tak ada penyakit yang tak bisa disembuhkan, hanya belum bisa disembuhkan saja. We come at the stage where doctors today have given up, where today's medicine and technology is not sufficient to keep you going. But we're saying instead of just disposing of the patient, uh, give them to us, we're going to stabilize them, stop them getting worse and hold them for as long as it takes for technology to catch up and allow them to come back to life and continue living. Natasha adalah istri Max dan keduanya telah membekukan salah satu anjing peliharaan mereka, Oscar. I, I think that in the future, the people who opted in for human cryo preservation or human cryonics preservation will most likely have family members and or friends who have also signed up for cryonics. And then it's just a waiting period. It's like, you know, you're in flight, you're in transport to your destination, and the destination would be the future. Natasha sendiri berniat menjalani proses kryonika, tapi hanya otaknya saja. Perlu sedikitnya 200 ribu dolar untuk membekukan tubuh seorang manusia, dan sekitar 80 ribu untuk membekukan otaknya saja. Tapi ini hanyalah perkiraan minimum, bisa jadi angka pastinya lebih tinggi lagi. Karena itu teknologi seperti ini bukan untuk sembarang orang, hanya bagi mereka yang mampu untuk membayarnya. Cryonics juga mendapat respon skeptis dari ahli etika kesehatan dan bioetika di New York University. The only group that you really see getting excited about the possibility are people who are sort of people who specialize in studying the distant future or people who have a stake in wanting you to pay the money to do it. I don't really see any mainstream brain scientists physiologists, people from psychiatry who study the mind, they're not lining up saying, I think this is a sound idea. Moreover, I don't think any of them do it. Satu lagi kenala teknologi kreonika adalah bahwa usia perusahaan jarang melampaui satu abad. Sehingga siapapun yang menawarkan jasa ini belum tentu bertahan hingga masa depan di mana pasien bisa dihidupkan kembali. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.